What's your management system? Can I ask that? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, what tools are you using now that you have a team? Like, how are you? Like, or you have eight channels, ten channels. Like, is this someone's full time job just to upload on every um, platform? Yeah. So we have yeah, my, we have uploaders. My cousin uploads. Up, that's we, a job. Type yeah, uploader. literally. Because uh, yeah. uploading on Snapchat is a slightly, tedious. Tedious. It, it's more tedious than YouTube. Yeah. So we would have. Um, Do you have to upload it in like the segments, or is it just? No, oh, it, it used it, to be. It used to be really? segments. They changed it, but okay. it, they auto it, it would auto cut segments. So you just upload the full video. But yeah, it, it's we run like 80% of our business through discord. And then um, you have your own channel where it's like internal comms. Just we, we, we did. And that's where we like send our invoices every month, but that's where we, we talked a bit of employees, but mostly we structure it in group chats. We just find it's easier because we get the notifications, but we use certain like websites like what? Monday. No, yeah. When it was things. internal, like for January on yeah. slam dunk, we used a uh, Trello. Yeah. Trello. Trello. And then when we, we started Trello. adding more team members, we're on monday.com now. Um, and, I mean, Monday, Monday is great, but like, to be honest, I just have all my employees' phone numbers. I call them if I need anything. Yeah, and then yeah we have Discord exactly group chats. <laughs> that's really just for people within the organization to see what other people are doing. Yeah, so we have like things, for example, where we'll post our new video idea every day to the certain channels Monday, and then it will go down a list where is the script writing done? If it's done, check done. Is the voiceover done? checking it done? Uh, on Monday. On Monday. Okay, okay. So we have the idea like that's posted. Board, or is it like. Uh, so I. It's I kinda this like, is hilarious. I showed one of my friends our Monday the other day and he actually like, he's like, dude, you guys are so stupid. Why are you running it like this? We, it, it's the most complicated process ever, but it's just like, we've it had works. this for a while. It works. It's yeah. literally it's like- It's not broken, don't fix it. We make a new board <laughs> every time and it's like, this is the day's videos and it's like script writing, editing. So you just like click through like done and everything. Kanban board would have been 10 times easier if I knew what that was when I made Monday. I still but don't know what that is, but- It's like a Trello board. Oh, okay. It is, yeah. yeah, Trello boards, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it works. Um, we don't really use that section much because like we said, we have numbers, just call them, text them. If anything pops up, we kind of know how everything works from each section of people, but like a script writer might not know exactly how <laughs> the editing process works as fluently. So they don't yeah. can't really track throughout because like, we oversee everything. Literally 20 minutes ago in this podcast, I got a text from our script writer, like, yo, what are the ideas for these shows? For the, Same for, for the today. editor who texts us. So like, there's a bunch of things like that, but yeah, we have organizational uh, things for the people who work on these types of subjects to see like, okay, the script is done. I can go to edit it now, but we know that already because we overrun everything. But yeah, it's for so you guys. Discord is where like the main communication. Yeah, is. Like you guys have Monday to track 90%. tasks. Yeah, task yeah. it's like for the track, flow. track what's been done. Yeah, and, and so Notion we used to track um, like back in the day, not as much. We'd be like, okay, we're opening up three new accounts this month. By when are we going to open them up? What are they going to be called? What are the niches we're going to make them in? Like the creative planning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Personally, I used Todoist or just like Apple Notes to just like track everything. And I, yeah. this is like the funny curve of like the productivity guy where it's like they start on Apple Notes and then they get the whole like complicated productivity yeah. system and then they go back to Apple Notes. Yeah. I went through that. I was like, dude, how do I be ultra productive? Mm -hmm. How do I maximize my time? I If I have an idea, I write it in Apple Notes and then sometimes I use Todoist. I have whiteboards next to my desk that I'm just like, okay, write we're down this idea. Yeah, I yeah. love whiteboards so like, much, bro. Like, well, I write like all my visions down on my whiteboard <laughs> and like what I want to do when and, we, and uh, how I want to get it done. When, this is hilarious. When we started Snapchat, um, we were in a call with one of our friends that has done Snapchat oh, and we, we, it was like a super motivational call, like just a feel good he call. He was in Snapchat at the time and we were not. And I think, what did you write down on your whiteboard? 10,000 yeah, a month? Yes. So I have it here <laughs> yeah, on my phone. Go, I'll, I'll read it to you. That's where most people want to be, dude. Yeah, this yeah. was, a month. I wrote well, this Well, dude, that's call. where we wanted to be. We were making like no money. Goals 2023, 10K a month consistently six figures by the end of the year, two or more successful Snapchat shows, $20,000 in at least one month, beat up with Luke, scale to five successful shows, and one month with $100,000. And we smashed that in one month. So you edited month. his Fortnite videos? That's how you met? Yeah, like back in when 2020. When you were 12 or 13? Yeah, 12 or 13, I used to edit for uh -huh. him. And then yeah. we like- st we How'd you find each other? Discord community? Through an agency, like just Twitter and stuff. Was we, that through Was that through Upskilled? Yeah, we, we met through there and then- Where? It was it was a creative agency that I partnered with and I would just be like, hey, just like get me editors for my videos. But then I started just working with him privately, yeah. like just us. Cause you know, they, they take those no, cuts, man. No, there's a story I can't <laughs> tell <kidding>. here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, I used to work with him privately, edited a bunch of his videos, but then he kind of stopped posting. So we just, and like, we just kind of didn't work. Didn't talk for like what, a year and a half, two years. Yeah. And then he just- I uh, put me in a call. This entire business started from a tweet that I saw in my timeline of my friend, our mutual friend, who was already doing Snapchat, um, and he had posted a YouTube plaque on his yeah. thing, and I didn't even know he ran a YouTube channel. So I was like, "Oh, he ran a YouTube channel secretly, a faceless channel." And it was it ended up being with one of my other friends, and 
one of them was script writing and voiceovering and one of them was editing. It was the same model that we have, basically. Same model that we did on, on Slam Dunk Shorts. So one day I just, I, I called the guy whose plaque it was and I'm like, yo, do you want to do this with me? And he's like, no. So then I'm like, okay, give me another editor. And he was really good friends with that yeah. guy. So um, That guy would give me work all the time. I, like I, I was my best friend. So he he put me in contact with him. If he didn't yeah, put referrals. me in contact with him, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. And then we just literally... From that was October. So it's funny. What we've been talking about on this podcast has happened in nine months. Yeah, it's only been like a year. It's been less than not, a year. Not even a year. Yeah. So everything. That, that, like hop- all roller coasters, that happened. Just everything. We started the channel October 14th, 2022. And I. it's funny. I look back and like I literally. How have things changed from that start to now? Oh, dude. Well, I mean, we were making no money now. Now we're actually making money. Like I, I didn't know what was possible. And now I honestly believe that I can do anything in terms of like content space. 100%. I know, I know what we're going to do yeah. in like a couple of years. It's like, just let us cook, bro. We are going to <laughs> oh, do yeah. big things. Yeah, dude. Like the cap on my brain before I got into this business was like, if there was a cap to it, okay. There was a cap and maybe it was a 50,000 or 60,000 a month cap or around there. And just from what I've seen as possible and from what I've glimpsed myself, I feel like literally any amount of money as possible with the skills that we have. Everyone in the world wants to get reach on whatever they're doing. Anything they want to do, a product, a company. We are experts in getting reach. Therefore, we could start companies, join companies, buy out companies and make them better. We could do anything we want with the skills we have. So it just makes me feel like I'm 16, right? So by the time I'm like 22, you're getting up there. Dude. You're getting up there. By the time I'm like 22, <laughs> <Better hurry> up. <laughs> by the time I'm like 22 yeah. or 23, like, bro, anything, anything's possible. Crazy. I fucking love your attitude, dude. That's <laughs> awesome. But just so I know the system, sorry. Discord for communications, yep. Monday.com for task management. What are you doing to accept payment from Snapchat? To Stripe, PayPal? Uh, no, Snapchat. Wire. It's, paid through, wire? It, it's wire transfer, yeah. Okay. And then you're uploading or is there any sort of like uploading schedule tool software uh no snapchat has a built-in one similar to youtube okay then thumbnails using mid journey no thumbnails on Snap snapchat are super simple. simple you just it's a screen grab of whatever the video is about and you just title it well and then you just go for it are you using like photoshop or yeah photoshop, yeah. photoshop okay so i guess so, okay so if, if you want to dive super deep okay google docs for script writing uh premiere pro for editing Photoshop for thumbnails, um, Monday for organization, if you're in a team, Discord for communication, text message for communication. Um, and I, I really don't think there's much else. It, then, okay. I mean, we'll see on Snapchat, like we would check in every single day and be like, okay, this video's not uploaded today. What the fuck's going on? And like call whoever was supposed to do that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So like if something isn't going on, cause we check everything, right? To make sure everything's obviously up and running and that's the fires that we have to put out. So if like something's sent late or something isn't sent at all, we kind of really have to get on someone's ass to, to get it done, right? Oh, damn. Are you a hard um, ass leader, Daniel? Bro, I'm like way more like mad at people than he gets. He's so <laughs> laid back with people and I'm really not. We have like good cop, bad cop situation. <laughs> me too, me too. Um, so like, yeah, like I just, bro, there's so many problems and like there's... <laughs> <laughs> Daniel be raging on employees sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then, then there's solutions. And then we find those creative solutions and get them done. <laughs> but yeah, like if something like impossible seems like a problem that's impossible to solve, like for example, if an editor drops out last second, we have no replacement, we will find a replacement and get it done. Like we'll just solve any problem. That there's happens. literally been times where it's like, oh, script writer can't do script today. Then one of us take it. If video is not yeah. edited that's today, why we know the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That's, you have to. it's so good and to know everything you're doing because yeah. we could do it and I don't want to be me, but we could do it better than any employee we have, well, which makes it perfect. Too. Yeah, exactly. But so this is the interesting thing about like corporate stuff. I, I find a lot of the structures of like corporate companies, a lot of the higher ups cannot do the jobs of the people that are They're just down. there, you know, like exactly. to do their job, but they don't know what these so It's like, are we've doing. actually it's done. Impossible to I will level. never ask an employee to do something that I haven't done. If I have to like do some crazy outreach, I'll do it, bro. Like, so yeah, it's yeah, just the type sure. of thing where we've already been through it. So we understand how to manage it. It's, it's exactly the type of thing for like a software company. It's so much more valuable if you're a manager of a software company and you understand how to code, right? right? It can be done without it a hundred percent. Just, it's very difficult. hundred percent. And you can communicate to people in the way they understand. And yes. there's so many like yes. little intricate intricacies. Like As an I'll editor. see, yeah, like I'll yeah. see an edit that will look perfect to him. And like, for example, there's been times where he'll review a video. He'll give like three or four revisions. I'm like, no, no, no. I'll go on yeah. it and give 35 revisions <laughs> yeah. on the video. And it's the same thing, vice versa, for writing. script like, writing. Bro, I think a script yeah. is perfect. I make like one or two changes. He goes through like 
dude, what are you doing? And he changes yeah. 45 things with yeah, the script. Exactly. So, but like, it's he's learning my craft. I'm learning script writing and it like just, <laughs> it works. I will never edit though. Dream I, team. I cannot. I used to edit my videos on Not Luke uh, on the Fortnite YouTube channel oh, myself. Yeah. I'm kill your soul. <laughs> so glad that I don't yeah, have to edit dude. anymore. It's an oh art form. Oh my God. I take a lot of pride in my editing. I love editing. You're, I, I mean, love bro, editing. The intros dude. that you took at the start are fire. It only which took is why four years of full time video. Bro, I love it so much because I used to do it every single day. Like, there would be times at like 12, bro. On 8 a.m. 12 years old, not 12 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, like 12 years old. I'd start a video at 8 a.m. and I'd get it back at 10 p.m. and I would sit at my desk for 12 hours, like just bring food out to my room, get it done, and get paid like 300 bucks. Yeah. But I didn't care. It was the most fulfilling thing in the world because with editing, you, you create your craft and you mm -hmm. curate the video. It's creativity. To exactly yeah. how you like Fun. it, bro. Yeah. I got yeah. paid when I was like 12, literally 12, I was doing Call of Duty trick shotting edits for Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. When Bitcoin is 250 bucks. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is 250 bucks. Why are really? you talking to us? <laughs> <laughs> I sold it at like for like 100 bucks. Holy so. shit. That's crazy. No, dude, it's crazy. I love editing. But there's so many like creative business models that I feel like everyone, like what we do, started off with like doing a little task, like editing or, or doing like thumbnail designing or, or something like that. And then eventually yep. moved into the big things like and creating your own content. This is funny. This is like a piece of advice for people that are listening to this that don't like that want to get into this space, but don't understand. It's like my advice to all of my friends that want to get into YouTube is start a shorts YouTube channel, specifically right yeah, now shorts best because it's so easy to pull views. Like you will be rewarded for very little. Like I, my best friends have started shorts YouTube channels and have had videos that have a hundred thousand views, million views, like that type of thing. And you learn the skills from that. Like, okay, you could think you're good at voiceover or script writing or editing, but you're just not going to be until you make a hundred videos, 200 videos, 300 videos. So but shorts though, you could learn very quickly. And it's like, oh, what shorts do I make? This is like the tough answer. But the, it's just like, you got to figure it out. It's like, mm. I don't like know. I've taught my brother how to do shorts because he's getting into this stuff and like, he's doing very well now. And like, he, this is like his second week. Do shorts weekend. pay well? well? No, they don't yeah, pay well, but say. for the amount of 0. effort 0. you're putting 0.07 RPM. So if you pull a million views, you get paid 700, 700 bucks. bucks. Which isn't bad because of how easy you can get I a mean, million we views. I mean, like, we had a, on, <laughs> like now, it, ever, on Slam Dunk. Because you're good. No, on with shorts, dunk. it's easy to go viral. It, don't don't, don't yeah. be naive or... Uh, you are, you're very skilled at what you do. Yeah, what yeah it, it's just like, that's like a winner's fallacy to yeah. where like, we think it's easy because we've done it before, but like Slam Dunk was pulling 150 million views a month on shorts. And we did right? post for six months and the way shorts works is that, so we stopped posting to focus on Snapchat when we had 200,000 subscribers on Slam Dunk shorts. We did not touch the account for six months or like not six months like three months and from 200,000 it just ran its course and went to a million subscribers because they would replay own. your old stuff yeah like yeah. the the views that like the reoccurring views from shorts is insane like a video from three months ago can still be pulling yep. a million views a day we're it's really cool. on slam dunk we were literally not uploading and pulling a million to two million views a day which yeah. is why shorts are like I tell people to get into shorts because they it's, go forever. it's the easiest way to see return on your effort to where like, it was making like a thousand, two thousand dollars a month as well. And we weren't touching it. And, this and like, that's like decent money. Like thousand, two thousand dollars a month did not even look at the channel for three months. And that's yeah. what it was making. And also like when you f imagine you have no skills, don't know how to make videos go viral, yeah. don't know editing, don't know script writing. You should not be focused on making money. Shorts will not make you money in the long term. They will yeah. teach you skills. Yeah. And this is what you were talking about with the courses. It's like, it's all about skills. Dude, if you know how to edit voiceover script, right? Then you can start a YouTube channel. And yeah, it, your guys' business model isn't that complicated. Bro, exactly. Make videos. Get and we started them. from shorts. Yeah. Just Don't learning. overthink it. And then just exactly, master that exactly. process. And, and we learned it through shorts. Yeah. And that's how anyone can do Dude, it. They if, just learn. If everything stopped tomorrow, I could get a million subscribers on a shorts channel in three months. Yeah. And the great thing about doing shorts is that you can like, Iterate so fast, like you can learn every single video. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. retention's better. And like Retention's obviously, better. shorts is isn't there for Change money, this. but it teaches you so many the skills that could make you yeah. so yeah. much. The more. Because the same I, concept applies to a one minute video and yeah. an hour long. The video. reason I say shorts is because it's so much easier to make a shorts video than a long form video. So where long form videos, even us with like big production, like whatever, it'll take us like a week to make a full scale video that's like twenty minutes long. To where like shorts, we could literally it would take me twenty minutes to write, two seconds to voice over. Yeah, exactly. He would edit in twenty minutes, yeah. uploaded. Like it's like pretty easy. So yeah, 100%. <laughs> I, don't know. It, I love it. And like the thing is with shorts, obviously it's not there to make money, but I know people who like make their money off shorts and, and because shorts, obviously 30 second to 40 second videos, the cost to create these videos are not that much. You're paying someone $10, $20 for this and this editing. And like a r roughly like a hundred million views is roughly like $6,000. So like if you scale and really learn the art after a few months, you could have like three, four shorts channels with a hundred million views a month, which once you're, 
once you've learned the skill is attainable because you have your past success and you see what can work and you just emulate it. So people are making like twenty, thirty thousand dollars a short, and they're starting to repost onto TikTok a month, and they're starting to repost onto TikTok, which has their new creativity program that's making money, and they're starting to repost to these platforms because platforms are starting to pay people money. 